Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Evil Minecraft. And I did what you guys suggested. I added redstone to my potions to make them last longer. Honestly, I totally forgot about it. I know you can do that. I just don't do much brewing and it just didn't occur to me at the moment. But anyways, now they all last for two minutes and we have six of them. So that should help like a ridiculous amount, I would think. Um, something I really wanted to mention, there's been a lot of comments saying to use game rules slash keep inventory, and I don't plan on using that in this series, guys. I want it to be as hard as possible, especially with the no regeneration and stuff, so I don't plan on doing that. If we die, we will fight for our stuff to get it back. And also, one other suggestion I've seen a lot is to kill myself when my health is low, like at a time right now, to try to get my health back up. I'm not going to do that either because I feel it's kind of unfair. But yeah, I've got potions, we can heal ourselves, and we should be good. But today, um, we're actually going to leave our house. That's right. Let me see here. I have one more wheat. Okay, so what we're going to do is go mining. And I kind of have a plan for the next couple episodes. So what we need to do is we need to get iron so we can actually, like, um, make the tornado sensor. So we can see the tornadoes, which is going to be really cool. I can't wait till that. And also, we need them for iron golems. Like, really badly. Like, to protect our house. It's way too dangerous here. And one other thing. What was it? There was something... Oh, diamond gear. We want more diamond gear, of course. Let's see here. Let me grab this wool. Because we might need it. And I want to make sure that we have enough torches. Alright, because we're going in a mine, guys. It's pretty dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to turn all my coal into this. Because, you know, we're going to get so much coal anyway. And I'm also bringing a redstone torch and a bucket of water. So I can charge my particle glove in, like, every way possible. Because it's going to be, like, our best weapon. Alright, is that everything we need? Let me get a little more wood. Alright, we'll bring a full stack. That should be enough. I'm not going to bring the apples because, you know, the regeneration potion should be plenty, I, I would imagine. I really hope so, at least. So, I'm not going to use one until I start taking damage because I don't want to waste it, like, right now when I'm not fighting anything. Because it lasts for two minutes. If I'm fighting something and I use it, then I could use it fighting mobs for two minutes without worrying about any of the damage I take. So, it should be much more useful. All the trees are growing nicely. Got another giant tree right here. Chop these down. Try to get some more apples when we get back. I'm going to take a quick look at our spawner, and then we are going to leave our home. I see a spider in there. It looks pissed. It's jumping all over the place. Might as well kill it. I'm sorry that you fell down. Oh. He's rare. I'm nervous now. Vengeance. Okay, the, here's the problem, guys. <laughs> We're actually going to have to use the potion right now, I think. Um, the reason is vengeance actually knocks damage back at you is the biggest problem with that and there's like three creepers in there all right so i'm gonna hit him once just to see but i'm pretty sure on that yeah so we'll use the regeneration right now and we might get diamond armor so it'll be worth it all right i want to get the creepers first because they're so annoying okay so yeah we're gonna take damage killing this dude but it'll be worth it so every damage we do to him is going to do damage back to us. So we have to make sure we don't kill ourselves. Obviously. But we've got two minutes here. He's almost dead. He's the rare thorny spider of the defender. One more hit. Alright, we got him. There's so much stuff in there. It's working nicely today. Alright, I even see a creeper in there. I don't think you dropped anything, though, that's good. It's hard to see. There's so much stuff in here right now. Die, bro. Will you not take any damage? Get the creeper. Get the creeper! Alright, there we go. Okay. So we killed everything. There was a lot of stuff. And, of course, we got boots. We already have boots. It's like the one thing I didn't need. Okay, so I had to use the regeneration potion really... There wasn't much choice in that. There was definitely worth it to try to get something good. We got fire protection, one boots. So not too bad. We tried. It was worth one potion. Plus our health is back up to normal now. So we're at full health. And we will be for 35 more seconds. So I can actually be less cautious if I want. I could kind of just, you know, go down. Quickly. Because we are getting behind. You know, it's going to get further into the day. And I don't want to be wandering around. And mobs to start spawning. So I'm going to go quick. While I have this regeneration on and not worry about if I fall for a second or something. I got 16 more seconds. Alright, climb down this. Normally I wouldn't do this or try to do this in this series. Because I'd be nervous I'd accidentally screw it up. Alright, so I'm going to toss this away. We don't need the bottle. We can always get a new one. They're pretty easy to make. Oh, that's cool. The water's like bouncing it. Okay. 
So yeah, we're heading into the... Oh, one thing. Here's our coordinates. And that's important because if we get lost, I can go look at the video and see where our house was. Which could definitely happen. See, so yeah, our health is back up. It costs us one regeneration potion. Plus, we got to kill a rare mob. And we kind of have to when we see him. Because it could get... What if it gave us diamond pants or, you know, a diamond chest plate? That'd be amazing. Then we'd be, like, so geared up. Especially if it had, like, protection 2 or something on it. I really hate jungles, like, navigating them because of things like this. Like this giant wall right here. It's terrible. We've got to climb up it. And I see the sun. It's starting to go down a little, I think. we got to hurry here. If we see a jungle temple, that'd be amazing. I don't think I've ever seen one in a series before, now that I think about it. Like, never. Okay, so let me, let me go up here. And you guys know, if you've used No Regeneration before in a series, it's pretty ridiculous. Like, you're nervous when you jump everywhere. Like, I've gotten so paranoid about it at this point. Okay, we're almost at the top of this. Not even, there's like a cave here or something. Alright, not exactly. How do I get up here? I'm trying to find the best way up. Alright, we'll climb right here. And I think we're almost to, ooh, an apple. Nice. The chance of that is. Awesome. So we got an apple, unexpectedly. Try to get our way up here. What we should do is grab a couple cocoa beans, too, if you see any. I probably went by a couple. I was in a rush when I had my regeneration. It looks like a couple different... I see a snow biome over there and possibly a um, forest. All right, so this jungle really isn't that big, to be honest. All right, go down slowly. I think I see some cocoa beans, like way down there. All right, I'm trying to go down without killing myself here. All right, there we go. So we could drop down. And it looks like we're going to be heading into different biomes. Definitely a forest. Maybe even a plains. I'm not even sure. We'll know very soon. All right, looking for cocoa beans. I see some over there. Because I want to get some for our farm. I don't need a lot. I mean, I'm not going to, like, use it specifically for cookies at this exact moment. But I'm definitely going to be using it um, for the farm so we can grow them ourselves. So we just need like one, really. Or a couple. Alright, almost dead. Come on, where's the cocoa beans? I'm looking all over for them. I feel like it's kind of like a vanilla series, but, you know, extremely hard. <laughs> Other than that, like, I have to use farms and stuff to get my food. Like, normally in a modded survival, you don't need to worry too much. There's so many, like, treasures and stuff. Where you don't really have to, like, make your own food very often. Alright, let me get that seed. So yeah, that should be plenty. I don't need to worry and spend like a bunch of time getting them because we really aren't going to need that many. All right, let me up here. Try to get out of this water. Okay, so yeah, there are new biomes over here. Definitely a plains, definitely a forest, definitely a snow biome. Very cool. I can't believe we made it. And is that a ocean? I see like a tree up here, maybe. Load. So if there's an ocean, that would be great too because I hear there can be some pretty crazy things going on with like the, you know... The storm mod. The tornado mod. I'm trying to go over there. I hear a zombie. Where is it? It's, it's getting dark, actually. What I'm going to do is make a bed if I have to. And yeah, it looks like there's an ocean right over here. I lied. <laughs> a bunch of trees just loaded in when I said that. I think everything just hasn't loaded yet. Alright, fair enough. Trying to get a little closer to make sure. See a sapling. Yeah, there's no ocean, guys. They tried to trick me. So we don't have a lot of time. So what we need to do is we need to quickly make a bed, go to sleep before the mobs come. All right. That's why I brought this wool. I was kind of prepared. I'm trying to be more prepared in this series than I normally would in, like, a normal series. It's nighttime. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So we're fine. We're sleeping. I hear a skeleton or something. It's freaking me out. Where is it? Give me my bed back. And give me this. And I'm leaving. Alright, so yeah. We're in a pretty cool area. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to find out if the planes are bigger. Because what someone told me was that the planes are actually the best spot to see tornadoes. And if we could find a planes that's really big, that'd be great. Wow, there's even wolves around. Like, I could tame a wolf. I don't usually do that. Come here. I need your help. I need as much help as possible. Is two bones going to be enough? I'm not sure. Come here, friend. Damn it, I need more bones. But this is good. We found wolves, which means we can definitely get ourselves a pet for this series. And it's going to help us fight. 
I just need more bones. I'm sure we'll get some. And there's a village right in front of us. Sorry, I was just talking so much. I, <laughs> I didn't react very good there, did I? All right, so yeah, there's a village right here. Oh, man. A village. I feel like I always find a village, though. I was more excited about wolves and... <laughs> and other stuff. Okay, so we found a village. That is great. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Hello? Anything good for sale? Gravel in an emerald for flint. Not really worth it. How about you? Three emeralds for shears. Good thing is there's like farms so I can get more wheat and more food really easily. How about you guys? Looking for something good for sale. 14 wool for an emerald. I don't have any wool. All right, emeralds for iron shovel. Come on, how about bread for emeralds? That'd be nice. Emerald for glowstone. Or do you even get glowstone? You guys are afraid of the nether. Pork chops for an emerald. That wouldn't be that bad if there was like tons of pigs around. All right, let's go in here. Anyone home? All right, so wool for emerald and coal for an emerald. That's not too bad. If we can get a bunch of coal, I wouldn't mind trading, you know, for it. There's a lot of cows around. I wish it was cow meat. Okay, so is there a blacksmith? Did I pass one? It's kind of a big village. Oh, there's one right there. Awesome. Let me just check you. All right, for the glowstone. So, yeah, I passed it when I was, like, trying to, like, see what everyone was selling. Oh, a diamond. Not bad. Some bread. Need more food. Um, gold ingots. We need those for the golden apples. And also iron ingots for, like, the iron golem. And also, we definitely need them for, like, the, you know, tornado sensor and stuff. Iron helmets. I don't think we need them. Because we have diamond helmet on. And we have a diamond helmet at home, too. All right, very cool. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the loot that I just stole from you. All right, no wheat for an emerald. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Get some wheat. I want emeralds. These need to grow. I don't. I should have brought bone meal. I didn't know I'd need it. I didn't think I'd see a village. No, I didn't even know there was um going to be a place over here. Okay, so which ones are fully grown? They have a nice farm going. So I've got eight wheat. There's a lot of there's a lot over here actually. Make this jump. Yeah, there we go. I'll replant it after, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to take as much wheat as I can. They said they'd give me emeralds. Or I could just use it for food too. Yeah, they really ended up flooded here. They built this in a weird spot, I have to say. Okay, we're ending out with a ton of wheat. All right, more is grown over there. Cannot make that jump, though. All right, let me get to the other side. So we've got 28. What did he say? Was it 18 for one? Something like that. How do I get up here? There's no way up. Fine, I see how it is. I'll climb this way. All right, give me that. And that. So who was it that was selling it? The emeralds for wheat. You were. All right, so I would love an emerald. All right, so now what can I buy? <laughs> I'm excited. I've got one emerald. Trading with the villagers. You know, it could be helpful. All right, so you... No. No. I didn't see if there's anything very good. I probably didn't talk to everyone either. Five emeralds for an iron shovel. You guys are... You guys are shrewd. All right, glowstone. Raw pork chops. Oh, man, come on. There's got to be something good. I just got an emerald. I'm excited. 19. I still need um, a lot more. I see villager. I mean, I see zombies burning. You think they're rare? Because, like, how would they even be out right now? Got my particle glove. I brought it, bro. I brought it. You try to fight me. That's what happens. I'm ready. I saw another one. I only like to find, like, some rare spawns only if they were really weak. I hear something weird. I don't know. I heard something walking around. It sounded strange. But, yeah, this might be the perfect spot for us to find some tornadoes. I feel bad for the villagers if their village goes down in one, though. All right, so, yeah, there's a lot of weed around. I'm not going to go too crazy. Let me just grab one more emerald because everything seems to be growing. And then we'll decide if we want to actually buy something. Let's get a little further away, though. I don't want them to die, like, in the middle of the night or something. I hate when it spawns like that. Fixed it for you guys. 
Okay. So yeah, it's good to know where this place is too. So just in case, there are the coordinates. Try to give myself everything in this video so I can look back on it in case I need to. All right, so I need 19 more. And then I could get myself something nice. All right, it's growing nicely though. I must have a, I have a lot of seeds. Should I replant it? I probably should. This is a very nice farm. I feel bad. I'm taking all their stuff. They, villagers have feelings too, guys. Just keep that in mind. They, they have feelings too. They do. It's true. Okay, grow everything nicely for you guys. And um, we'll be good. Oh, also, let me see. My inventory is getting really full. Because <laughs> I noticed they have, you know, other vegetables growing as well, which I could bring home. Okay. So let me see. Um, I do have a little room. Give me that. So potatoes. So we got some potatoes we can bring home. We get like a potato farm going. I've never grown potatoes before, actually. No carrots around. Just checking for like every kind of vegetable possible here. All right, replanting. Give me this wheat. And then I think... Oh, I stepped on it. Damn it. I'm sorry about that. Give me more potatoes. I mean, they stack anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is find that dude. Where was he? Are you him? No. Wool. I should have paid attention to what he was wearing. If it was brown. I think it was brown. Is it you? You're staring up at the wheat like you love wheat. And I was right. Okay, so we have two emeralds um, to mess around with. I'm not sure if I want to buy anything quite yet. I didn't see anything like of a value here. They always try to rip you off. Damn you guys. Oh, so there was a dude who sold them for 18 and a dude for 19? I'm kind of confused now. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, there was. You ripped me off, bro. You ripped me off. The other dude sells them for 18, and I just sold them to you for 19. That is, that's not nice. You're mean. Mean dude. Okay, so what we need to do is find a cave system now. And then hopefully we'll be seeing tornadoes really soon. All right, I think I checked everyone. Cool village, though. And we're freaking hungry. All right, so yeah, my inventory is a little full. What I'm going to do off camera is throw away the crap so that we don't have to worry about it when we go mining. Okay, so there should be caves around. I know I just saw one like a minute ago. All right, let's check out the surrounding area. There are definitely a lot of cows around, and there's kind of a cool like mountain area too. So let's head... I think I see one, maybe. We'll go this way. All right, cows. Have you seen any caves by any chance around here? Maybe. Is that a cave? No. It's like water. So there is a cave right here. All right, let's just see like if it actually turns into a cave. Yeah, it does. So this probably leads somewhere. Multiple directions. Seems to go down. I Yeah, it looks like it goes down. It looks like it might be lava. All right, that's perfect. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. And next time we are going to go mining. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.